All right, guys, uh, we have a special treat for you today. Uh, let's do it. Okay, uh, you've seen Mike and my our matches on your channel. You've been killing it. Thanks. <laughs> We've got a new one coming, so be sure to check that out. And uh, But I've been going through a lot of the comments. A lot of people like uh, both of our putting. And I think, you know, we're, we're decent putters. So we're going to do an 18-hole putting challenge match today. And while we do it, we'll talk a little bit about how we approach putting and maybe some of the things we like to do to help our putting game. What do you think? Yeah, uh, I, you know, I switched to the claw or pencil grip, and uh, I can kind of go over that with you guys if you guys want to check it out and see if it, it might help out your, uh, your putting. It helped mine out, and uh, yeah. so far it's doing okay. It is. Man, I get a ton of birdies today. All right, let's do it. This video is brought to you by Athlons, the most stable golf shoe on the market. With optimal athletic positioning that leverages the laws of physics to shift the way the feet engage with the ground, giving you 9% more power. No wonder the longest hitters in the world choose Athlons. Optimize your biomechanics and perform better with Athlons golf shoes. Check them out with the link in the description below and be sure to use code Mr. Short Game at checkout. All right, so we're gonna do an 18 hole match. Uh, I picked the first hole, so I'm odds. Matt's evens and uh, par is gonna be two and uh, total strokes wins. First one, let's go to that far one out there. All right, all right. so we've got this uh, farthest hole right there. Yeah. Got a 60 footer. I got a good read, I like going second. We got it, good looking putt. He might have just made that. It's gonna break pretty hard left. And this is just a good way to practice your lag putting, have some fun with your, your friends. Yeah, it was it was a tough start. <laughs> you know, it's good to just kind of play around with it and you know have some 12, 15 footers left for uh, for par. Oh, sorry, that was really bad camera work, but he just uh, went high side and just passed it. Okay, so Matt's plus one right now through one. Oh, good solid par. Good putt. All right, so it's Matt's turn. So I'm even, he's plus one through one. All right, so Matt picked, he's got a, uh, a 35, 40 footer with a little left to right break. Tough putt, I like it. Mm, good roll. Just rolled out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that was well done. He's got a good roll on that one. Right, let's track on the same. Oh, mine made a little, a little firm. So if you watch Mike's pre-shot routine, which is something you know really awesome, he just steps up, lines up, and goes. He doesn't do a lot of practice strokes, and it's the same every single time. And it's funny, as you can tell. All right, good two putt, that was a tough one. So uh, I'm even, Matt's plus one through two, uh, my pick. All right, this one's uh, this is a tough one. It's a long putt, downhill, and it just looks like the pin is on the edge of the green. It could roll off into the, uh, the abyss down there. And he played it really good. Breaking left, he's maybe a kick in away. Okay, good two putt. Good one. So Mike did the right thing on that long one is uh, he went long of the hole, so he had an uphill putt coming back. Smart move. Try and do like 15 footers, yeah, 20 let's go footers. Right here. All right, straight up the hill. It's going right there. Oh, what a good roll. Okay, good two putt. Yeah, anytime you're having putting challenges, putting games with your buddies, always make pick something that you can make. 
I don't always do 60, 70 footers all day. Good looking pot. All right, I was going for the make, maybe a 15 footer. Downhill, a little touch right to left, we'll see. Oh, I played it, a little left to right. It does break left to right. Left to right? Left That's right. trying to get in my head a little bit. That's okay. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> So we just play ready golf. We even finish these up. Ugh, that was close. <laughs> Good two pot. Thank you. All right. So we just announced the score after every hole. Uh, I'm even. He's plus one through five. Let's go to that middle hole. The long one. The long one? Or yeah, the I middle one? Yeah, the middle one. Okay. A plus right there. Good roll. Oh, crunch. He's a little firm. Oh, not bad though. Oh, great putt. Good two putt. Maybe 20 feet. A little downhill. A short version of the hole we had a couple of holes ago. She made a break pretty good. Not bad. it through the break. This is a great thing to do after your round of golf. Don't just pile in the car and go home or go drinking or whatever you do. Great par. If you want to get better, just spend a few minutes doing something like this. This is also a, a fun game to play with your buddies for like lunch or breakfast. Good par. All right. All right, so I'm even. You're, You're plus up. one through... That was me, so that was eight. Great. All right, so this is the ninth hole. And then after nine, we'll talk about our, uh, let's say our grip and our Mike's pre-shot routine, that kind of stuff. It's a good looking putt. I like it, good lag. Putt right there. Okay, good job. Good one. All right, Mike's even. I'm plus one. Show me your grip. Let's okay, look at that. so so there's two grips that I've been going with. Um, the first one, I have my left hand just like this, and then I do two fingers. I have an open stance. I keep my left elbow as nice and tight to my body as possible, and I just swing it. You made it. In case you so, hear. and then um, another one that I really like also is where I kind of hold it like a pencil. I grab it from underneath. I still keep my left elbow in, and I'm just kind of swinging it. it. You know, for me, a conventional grip just never worked. I didn't like the feel or the setup. So, I just uh, right now I'm currently with the two fingers, but I also like this grip. I like that. So my setup is probably more conventional. I usually start with the right hand and then I get my left hand and I either get my finger going, my right, my left finger going straight down my finger line or sometimes I do the reverse overlap here. It just, I don't really think about that. It's whatever happens, happens. But most of the time I'm down here, fingered down there. Yeah, his, le his left index finger over his fingers is a really good grip. That's the way to do it if, if you were to be uh, you know, right hand low. You got this one? Okay. Now right. we're gonna start making some of these. I know. We've had some really tough putts, nothing too easy to make. Okay, that one broke quite a bit. Wow. Good look. Oh, that snaps hard at the end. Woo. Easy. Okay. 
All right, good one. All right, so okay. I'm even, you're plus one. You're up. Through. Ten. Ten. Next demon, probably, gosh, 10 feet to the left. Swing it down pretty good. Easy two putt. Mike's just, uh, he's a putting machine today, that's for sure. All right. Ooh. Hit the firm and makes the comeback up. You know, uh, there's no point to leaving you know, putt short on these. It's just practice. It's okay if you lose. Yeah, I, I have a tendency to leave a lot of long putt short. And so I like stuff like this where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try to get it past the hole every time. Yeah. I haven't, but it's still a good mindset <laughs> to have. All right, through 12. We can roll. You might have made that. Oh, good effort. Did, it, did he do it? Oh, just burned the edge. Here. One footer, less than one footer. Mic's up. That's a good looking putt. Oh, just too late. Oh, good effort. Yeah, yeah, he's all day. All day and make. Crept it in there. Good stuff. All right. Good job. Okay, that was your pick. Yeah, two more to go. We're on 17. Maybe 25 feet toward the edge of the green. Oh, this is good looking. Oh, I thought that would turn more. Okay, hold that a little bit. All right. Good job. Last hole you get to pick. Oh, my pick. All right. What do we want? This is where it becomes fun and interesting. And the last one, you can always, you know, just throw one in the rough, throw it in the fringe, have like an 80 footer, and uh, get one back. Top right. Top right. All right. Last one. All right. That's this is I a can't good even one. See that far. And now it's getting a little dark. Okay, not bad. He kind of went on my line. He's a little better than mine. Probably a lot better than mine, but all right. Oh, what a putt. That was clutch. All right. <laughs> he has been money all day. Get in. Uh-oh. Good stuff. All right, here's what we're gonna do. So we tied. Uh, so we're gonna play. Uh, we're gonna go o OT. Yeah, great two putt. You got me on that last one. So uh, a little tip of the cap. All right. And uh, should we do um, OT? Should we... my pick. Okay, it's your pick. Oh, oh, little... sudden death. Sudden death. The uh, whole 19. Here we come. Sudden victory. All right, good stuff. All right, just a little fun uh, putting game. Good job, got me again. Uh, to really sharpen up your game, do this. I would say, yeah, if you play around or you just wanna practice, come out with the buddy and play games like this to really sharpen up your game. And man, you get nervous, you get tight, you get, you get to feel some of what you feel out on the golf course. Yeah, I mean, hitting three footers and five footers constantly all day just kind of wears you down. Um, you know, it's good to do it, but it's also good to have some fun and uh, just play a little game with one of your buddies. Yeah, so this is one of many good putting games. So uh, check out uh, Golfholics, and uh, we're doing a lot of content together. So that's always fun, and uh, subscribe to them. Hit the like, do all this stuff.
Love you guys. See you next time. <laughs> Oh, all right, bloopers. How can you putt with this, with this going on? All right, that's great. <laughs>